Why am I so awkward? Ah, I'm yelling. Let your skin melt. Let your skin melt. Girl, no, I did not say that. Guys, I don't know if I'd be slouching during that time. I think like slowly my back just became a little bit more like, like that, like an arch. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> speaking i don't know how this is gonna go out hey guys what's good it's your girl abby and we are back with another video it's been a minute y'all it's been a minute since we had a sit down video your girl's been busy with school but guess what she graduated or whatever <laughs> yeah so i've uh, I finished school I, I graduate no i didn't graduate yet but i'm confirmed to graduate thank the lord you know so Today we are going to do a how did I get rid of my acne video and you know this is a bunch of my skincare. Some of these products I don't use anymore, some of these products I do use, some of them I consider my holy grail even though I don't use them anymore. Does that make sense? I don't know. Well, let's get on with the video. If you guys like these kind of videos make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button so you are updated with more videos because we're trying to make more videos. <laughs> yeah that's okay so let's get to it i just want to do a little shout out to jordan fisher because he got new merch and uh i bought it and i thought it was cute you know support and if you guys don't know who jordan fisher is go check him out he's a very talented man okay so i wanted to share the tips and tricks on how i got rid of my acne if you guys didn't know i've been struggling with acne for a good minute not even a minute like a whole a whole while, you know? And then why did I just crack? Ah! I didn't really struggle with acne until I was in university in high school. I thought I had pretty decent skin. I did struggle with acne a lot in my middle school age. So like 13 or so. But then once I hit like 16 to 18, that was a decent time of my life, okay? So three years, that was a decent time. But then, once university happened, oh, that was a different story. Maybe because I was stressed. Maybe because I've been eating McDonald's most of the time and like I gained a good freshman <laughs> beep yeah my skin was just not having it I did save a few pictures because I just wanted to show you guys how your girl be struggling like she struggled struggled can you see that this is my album called acne and all my pictures oh there's not a lot of pictures I started university in the fall of 2015 didn't really have acne back then. I think 2016 was a good year for me too. Good year in terms of my face, not really mentally, emotionally. You know, that was a hard year of my life, 2016. If you know, you know. Anyway, 2017, I think, I think, you know, my acne began just to came, come out more because again, like your girl be stressed with all these courses and trying to figure out my life. Again, if you know, you know. Then 2018, I think that was an okay year. I don't know, I'll post pictures. 2016, 2017. 2018 and then 2019 2019 oh lord i don't know what be happening there Because I think, I truly think that, you know, God just wanted me to take out all the toxins in my body. So, you know, it happened through my face. It was just not a time. It was just not it. Guys, I literally did so much. I tried going to the derma. They gave me these products. And I'm like, yeah, it's supposed to be a slow journey. And I'm like, slow. I don't need slow right now. Like, I had on my face probably for a good two months. Nothing happened. Those derma products did not work. And they were hell expensive. So I'm like, why am I wasting my money? For these products that ain't working my skin you know so then i decided to do my own research not only that i tried out a lot of home remedy things like i put honey on my skin i put what else did i put on my skin i made up a, a different kind of concoction i mixed up a lot of products i think i put lemon maybe honey i don't know what else i did this is a picture of that time in my life so then, this is the life-changing, life-altering moment for me, guys. I found this product 
from my favorite youtuber desi perkins hello desi you probably won't ever see this she recommended this product for her skin even though her when she wears makeup her skin be flawless she is beautiful even without makeup she's beautiful but she also struggled with acne and she recommended this product and i'm telling y'all this is the product this is the product this is the only product you need probably in your life with that being said this i think this product works mostly for people that struggle with acne and oily skin some people have acne and dry skin some people have combo skin at that time i had combo skin so i was both oily my t-zone and then dry in my xyz zone okay if you know you know yeah so this is a product da -da -da. ole henriksen this is the product some people don't like this company truthfully like this is what worked with my skin again like different People have different regimens and all that stuff. Whatever worked for you, worked for you. But I'm just giving y'all the, the tricks and tips that worked for me. So before I bought this product, I actually bought a different product, which is, I don't have the bottle, but here's a picture of it. It is um, the Ole Henriksen Glow 2OH Dark Spot Toner. It claims to, let me read it for y'all. It claims to be a potent toner, super change with high potency of AHA, so glycolic and lactic acid, to reduce the look of dark spots in as little as seven days. And I'm like, oof, I need to reduce my dark spots. So I was like, let me let me get this. I tried it mostly at night, and I don't remember what toner I used in the morning. I, I have different skincare routines for night and morning. And so, you know, there's a bit of an improvement, but I'm like, oh, I could do, so I think I can do something better. And girl, boy let me tell you this product changed changed my life it changed my skin it changed the game for me and skincare okay a few of my friends have tried this some of them liked it some of them did not the friends who didn't like it um had drier skin so i don't think this product works well with dry skin to be honest i actually have a whole different skincare routine for those who have dry skin and have acne because after i went through a phase of my combo skin and having acne this product didn't really cut it for me anymore just because i think it focused more on your your oil okay like i said i'm not a dermatologist okay so please don't attack me don't be right right in the comments like oh my gosh she doesn't know what she's saying you're right i don't but like this is what worked with my skin i think this product worked better with oily skin i watch another youtube uh channel they are called beauty within you can watch more of their details down below she is a bit expensive to be honest she is 38 dollars. the other toner i got from ole henriksen the blue toner was 38 dollars as well yes i know it's a lot of money i tried a lot of drugstore products it just didn't work for my skin personally i think my skin just really enjoys bougie products <laughs> you know my bank does not <laughs> But yes, that's how I got rid of my acne through those two products primarily. But of course, there are other things that I used in my skincare routine. And so I would love to share them with you. What I've learned in the skincare community is that it's so important to double cleanse, especially if you wear makeup. The skincare I follow now is actually more of a Korean skincare regimen. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm just sharing what works for me. It may not work for you. It may work for you. With that being said, please don't hold it against me if it did not work for you. I found out about makeup bombs through my friend Janica. I thoroughly loved it. Like the fact that it just melted my makeup off and it was just easy to wipe off the makeup rather than using a makeup wipe. And I, I used to use makeup wipes before too, but it was just not it. You know, even Skin by Hiram said it just ain't it, you know. I haven't used makeup wipes in a minute. And if you use makeup wipes, I don't think you should. Just because you're tugging on your skin, you're pulling your skin, and um, you don't want to get wrinkles, you know? You want to preserve the youth of your skin as you get older. I'm getting older, and so I'm trying to protect my skin. And so Janica, she actually gifted me with a melting balm, and this is from Innisfree. This is probably one of the best melting balms I have used ever. And then after, I would use Biore. Biore, how do you pronounce it? Girl, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the Biore. Bior yeah, I think it's Biore. Charcoal Acne Clearing Cleanser. Claims to deep clean. To, did I forget how to read? Deep cleans to help prevent breakouts. It's 1% salicylic acid acne treatment and it is oil free. And honestly, I love this product. 
Um, it's a cheap price. I think this is probably like $12 and under. So after using these two products, I then used my toner. Um, again, at the time, it was my Ole Henriksen or the other Ole Henriksen, depending if it was night or day. I think I kept the same skin routine when I was trying to clear up my acne because I didn't want my face to get overwhelmed with so many products and so many different products. This skincare worked for me when I had really oily skin. So I had combo skin, I had acne, and it was just not it. <laughs> After this toner, this is another Innisfree product. This is their... This is their Beejus Sika Balm, and it is Beejus Seed Oil from Jeju Island. We love that. It helped with... Why are there so many things happening outside? It's actually a moisturizer. It acted as a moisturizer. And so, basically, I was double moisturizing. You know what? It worked for me. With this, I didn't put it like all over my face, but I just put it on my spots. And then the moisturizer I used at the time... So this is Pharmacy. Their Daily Greens Oil-Free Moisturizer with mor Moringa. Moringa? I, I still... <laughs> like I said. And Papaya. So most people actually, I know, don't prefer scents in their skincare routine because it irritates their skin. I agree. There's no point in putting scents, but it just smells good, um, which I enjoy. And it didn't break me out, so I just kept it in my skincare routine. And with that being said, of course, you you do all these things to help protect your skin. So it is so important, guys. It's so important to put sunscreen on. If you don't put sunscreen on in the morning after your skincare routine, you basically just ruined your entire skincare routine. Like it was just there's no point in it. There's no purpose. Again, this is from Danica. Like she told me about this product. Thank you, Nyx. Thank you, Gups. It's this product from a two house called Sunprise. It's SPF 50. That's all I can tell you because <laughs> everything else is in Korean. <laughs> Here, let me just do a little, look how easy it goes into the skin. It doesn't give me a white cast. I don't believe it does. So that is basically my skincare routine on how I got rid of acne when I had oily skin. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, so with skincare, obviously, you know, you gotta do some trial and error. Some things may work for another person and they may not work for you. Some things may not work for another person and they work for you. And that's what I did with these products. Some of them are on the cheaper side and some of them are more on the expensive side. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning into the videos. Um, and I hope that as we continue this YouTube journey together, you guys enjoy the content. <laughs> Again, thank you so much guys for the love and support. I am looking forward to making more videos and yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay favorite, stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.